Hi everybody, thanks for joining us today for our college visit series. We are very excited to have Tiffany Coleman here from Ferrum College and she's going to be sharing lots of information with us about their campus and their programs and everything they have to offer. So thank you Tiffany for joining us today. Thank you so much. So just an overview. I will show two videos and then I have a PowerPoint presentation. Our contact information is located in the PowerPoint. So definitely write it down, take pictures of the shots that you need and then contact me if you have any questions. So first up will be a video um, of student testimonials, nice views of campus. And then we'll go into the PowerPoint where I will explain campus, admissions, scholarships, all that good stuff. I auditioned in high school for the theater. What really got me into it um, after the audition, I actually went to the fair table and, you know, I was very nervous, but something about this table, they just felt like home and they weren't putting on a show. They weren't bribing me with cool lights and setting and costumes. So that really helped. And then I actually came here and I was like, oh, this stage actually feels like home. It's very homey and it's not over the top. And I think what I really learned about this program is that you really get the experience. You do everything as a performer. You're not just a performer. You're the tech, you're building the stage, you're fixing your lights, um, audio, sound. It's, yeah, you really learn how to make your own production. My biggest takeaway would probably be the connection I'm making with everybody here, my coaches, professors, they want us to succeed. And so that's what we get to take away from it. There's so many different opportunities that you can apply. There's sororities, fraternities, teams, everybody's really welcoming here and they just want you to have a great time and like they, they want you to succeed. And your coaches are there to help you guide you through the whole experience. What I love about field hockey is that it's like having a second family. The girls are awesome and you just make new friends and family. Whenever you step on and off the field, they're there for you for the rest of your life. There's not a lot of schools where you can go out and just study at your own pace at the farm. Usually you have to go with the professor and they limit on how much interaction you get to have with the animals. Here we can have as much interaction with the animals as we want. Uh, we make decisions whether we want to use artificial insemination in our cattle or if we want to try live cut. If we want to raise goats for our, uh, our show and grain. And it's just really when you come to Ferrum, it's every opportunity you have to uh, do what you want to do. And the professors really put focus on that. At Ferrum, you're not a number. Professors here at Ferrum really do care what you're into. So it's just having that, that background and that driving force behind you is just really amazing. And it's not just the uh, professors here at Ferrum, but it's really just about everybody. Your students, your faculty, your staff, like just all have that uh, family atmosphere. Being a marketing student has given me so many opportunities here. They've given me hands-on experience with working with the marketing and communications department here at them. So I get to see hands-on what marketing is like. So that will help me a lot when I graduate. One of my favorite things about them is going to the football game. They're actually really spirited. 
just and everyone has their school spirit on when they and they come. I get so excited just looking at that video, like the content of Ferrum, what's here at Ferrum, things you can do at Ferrum. Um, you just have to come for a visit and really see it for yourself. I am now pulling up the PowerPoint that I will go over with you, and then we'll have one last video after that. But definitely go to our website just so you can learn more about us and just get a better feel for what we have to offer. So these are some of our stats that we have. We have a little over a thousand students. Right now, even in the midst of COVID, there's over a thousand here on campus and about 70 that have chosen to stay home. Um, and take hybrid classes or online courses. That's something that I'm sure will continue through the spring. We'll see how the year goes. It could also be that way, fall 2021. Um, small class sizes, definitely 13 to one. Sometimes majors can get up to 19 to 20, but either way, like you'll be known by your name or a nickname, you know? You know, it's very personal, very cozy, very much of a community here at Ferrum. These are our majors and minors that we offer. And the cool thing is that with just within the last few days, Ferrum has been approved to now offer more graduate programs in addition to the two that we were approved to offer last year. What that means is that you could potentially get your bachelor's in three years and your master's in the fourth year. Now, traditionally it's like four years for your bachelor's and then a fifth year for your master's but the way that our fall and spring semesters are now designed is that you could potentially finish in three years and then get that master's in that fourth year so that's something that's really really cool i know that there's more information to come about that but we definitely are excited to share that with you um Ferrum are known we're known for our sciences we have the second oldest environmental science program in the nation behind stanford which is pretty neat um, for our pre-med students and also health and human performance majors, we have human cadavers. Ferrum is not a medical university, but we get five cadavers a year. That's super cool. Like I used to leave Russian class just to get to the human anatomy class for fun because I'm like, this is like the coolest thing ever. Criminal justice is pretty big at Ferrum. Um, we also have a forensics house. So if you are interested in crime scene investigations or even forensic science, we're only one of four schools on the East Coast that has a forensics house where you can go in, you can create a crime scene, you can do fingerprinting, like all this neat stuff in there. Teacher education is awesome. Like students pass their practices the first time. And that test is expensive, just ask any teacher. So the fact that you're that prepared to knock it out at once, that's pretty cool. Um, another big thing for us would be business. It has several emphasis of finance, marketing, sports management. Social work is the longest accredited major at Ferrum. It's one of those majors where you actually have to interview to get approved to go into the major. And then it has a 100% job placement rate when they graduate. Overall, 93% of our students are employed or within grad school within six months after graduating. But all of these majors are cool. Those are just some highlights and definitely contact us for, our, for more information for undergrad or graduate programs that we're offering. And then nursing came through that. Nursing is new. That kicks off this fall. So that's neat. 
If you play sports, you're in good hands. Like we're now in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference. Um, these are some shots of our athletic area. So we have the big green room, which is our weight room. Um, it has indoor turf, hot and cold jacuzzi tubs. Um, you can't go wrong in that. They're open from like 5 a.m. to like 11 p.m. now. And then it's sanitized after every team. So if this is your rim, if this is what you do, you just have to see this for yourself. And our newest sport will be track, and that kicks off this spring. There's over 60 clubs and organizations at FARM. I always say boredom is a choice. You know, if you sit in your room and you don't come out, that sucks. Like you have to get out and do stuff, like try something new. Um, we have 800 acres of fun. So if you like hunting, fishing, whitewater rafting, skiing, canoeing, night canoeing, ropes course, Anything that you can do outside, you can do here at Ferrum. Um, we have the Equestrian Club, which is also a team. So if you love to ride and you want to ride for fun, you can do that. Every major has a club. We have an active SGA on campus. We have sororities and fraternities that are always doing community service projects. And then we have a band. Like, who doesn't want to support the band? So definitely come and get involved at Ferrum. You can't go wrong with something to do. This is where we talk about the application process. It's free for all students. We have that fee listed. It's also listed on the paper app, but we waive it and it's free to apply online. The only thing that you need to submit at this time is your transcript. Test scores are not required. Every student is now reviewed as test optional, but if you send scores, the scholarship could increase, but it could never decrease and merits go up to 23,500. Fair and Promise is a new initiative that we started this semester that will extend, you know, probably forever. But what the Fair and Promise means is that if you, if you decide after high school, maybe you wanted to attend a four-year school, but life happens, community college just makes more sense for you right now. If you attend a Virginia community college and you transfer into Fair with an associate, and it is our fault that you do not graduate in two years, your additional courses are free. I think when students hear private, they hear expensive. So we pride ourselves on making us very affordable. We award over 22 million in institutional funds. The average package is around 38,100 and typically your out-of-pocket cost is between seven to 8,000. But I would say the better the merit, the cheaper we become definitely, but also there's a $1,000 app incentive. If you apply by December 1, you all do have access to Virginia Tuition Assistance Grant. That could go up to around $3,700. And then you get $1,000 for visiting. So you could attend a virtual open house, a virtual event with our ambassadors at night, and then also a virtual personal tour, or you can come on campus. We have visits Monday through Friday and Saturday. And that's how you would claim your $1,000 campus visit grant. So your merit, your visit grant, and your app incentive are renewable for every year that you attend Ferrum. And that's it for the PowerPoint. And then I have this last video that just shows you what you can do around Ferrum and the area.
that is it on the highlight of Ferrum. Are there any questions? Thank you so much. That was really great. And the videos are really well done because it makes you really excited to come and visit campus. It looks really beautiful. Um, one question about the scholarships. So you said students don't have to submit any test scores for scholarships, but they could get an increase in merit scholarships if they submit test scores. Yes. Right? So for example, let's use a student that's a solid student in 3.0. Their scholarship, just as test optional, would be 17,000. But let's say they aimed and got over 1080 or over 21 on the ACT, that scholarship could go up to 19 or 18. So that's why we mean like as test optional, they're awarded the base scholarship. But with higher test scores, it could definitely increase. But let's say they don't do as well and they're like afraid to send them or they send them and they're like, man, they're not going to lose their scholarship. So it's either going to stay the same or increase. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Edwards, did you have any questions? And for, mm -hmm, yes. Um, and for pricing, I guess, is it best to reach out to you, Ms. Coleman, directly to talk about that or, or just, you know, I don't know, I'm thinking of a, like an example, I'm thinking of a parent that I was talking to earlier today for a specific college that just kind of wasn't sure, should I reach out to financial aid directly or to like the admissions representative, you know? And, and um, I think in this case, I told her to reach out to the admissions representative, but what are your thoughts on something like that? Because that might be a question for a private school that right. a family has. I would say both. I mean, if the student is just coming through the admissions process and they have not been awarded a financial aid package, definitely admissions. Because mm -hmm. if you are not yet accepted, or even if you're accepted and Ferrum has not received the FAFSA, financial aid has no idea what that package would look like. You know, typically right now, early in the game, parents are looking for concrete answers specific to them and their child. And they don't really want mm -hmm. like generic answers. It's like, what is the money? What are we looking at? So I would say definitely admissions prior to a package, just because if they go to financial aid, it's very general and it's not going to really answer the parent's question. So for us in yeah. admissions, we would just go over the free aid they're already getting. We would go over our overall costs and just have them deduct that and then say what's left over is where FAFSA kicks in. Now, once the student is accepted, the FAFSA is received, financial aid will then be able to award a package. At that point, if they have questions like, why did we get this particular loan, or the contents within the FAFSA, things that admissions cannot see, that's when the financial aid advisor is probably the more appropriate contact. But if it's generalized information at face value, definitely admissions. Okay, that's very helpful. Thank and then you. Also, for like appeals, you know, for us, packages don't necessarily have to stay that way. I tell parents all the time things change two years ago to now. So, if you know that you're now in a hardship, like maybe what you made then is not now, or if someone in the household has an illness, those are reasons to have that financial aid package reevaluated. Yeah. And so that's why you would tell admissions like, hey, like, you know, this is no longer our case or we really like Ferrum, We really want to come, but we can't afford this. And so that's where we go to financial aid or that parent can go to financial aid and just say, hey, what else can you do? So right. they're definitely going to have conversations with both either way. But I would say early on, probably admissions for just generic information, like what are we looking at? after the package, financial aid, but we're still able to have conversations even at that point. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. That's really helpful. Yeah, that's really good advice. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, anytime. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This was great and very informative. We've learned a lot about Ferrum College and hopefully our students and families that are watching have learned a lot about Ferrum. And if they have questions, can they reach out to you directly? Yes, they can. Okay, perfect. And I'll post that information awesome. with the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a good See one. Ya. Have a good day. See ya.